In this video, we are going to be looking at the button control, which we have used uh, extensively in in our, our web application. But it's time to just uh, learn a little bit more about it. So the button controls are used to send the form data back to the server. So whenever you want to send, for example, when you click on a button that says submit form to the data, so that's what the buttons are used for. The button controls support many new properties. Uh, which include enabled, you can actually enable or disable uh, uh, the button control. You can use the enable control in every other properties of um, ASP.NET. What I mean by new is because this is the first time I'm introducing it. So you can enable it to be uh, true or false. So which means if you don't want the user to click on the button until maybe a checkbox is checked, you can always say oh disable the button but whenever the user check the terms and condition button then you can enable it so another property that we haven't talked about is the on, cl on client click property and the post back to url which i'm going to be talking about in this video and in the next video and uh, also the text property which we've talked about uh, a lot the two most important events button control raised are the click event and the command event. Both of these uh, events are raised when the button control is clicked. Uh, we've talked so many times about the click event, so that the one that is raised whenever you click on a button, but we haven't talked about the command event which we talk about in the future video. The uh, a very good, uh, very important property of the button control is the on client click, which is used to execute a client side script. What happens is if you have a JavaScript and you want to execute the JavaScript before the click event of the button is raised, then you can use the on client click uh, property. To demonstrate the on client click property of a button control, we'll write a simple JavaScript which display a message to the user just before the click event is raised and the form is sent uh, back to the server. Button control also supports expando attributes. So these expando, uh, these expando attributes are passed to the web browser for processing if they are not recognized by the ASP.NET framework. So there are some attributes such as um, on mouse out. I mean, if you've written a little bit of JavaScript, you must have come across this kind of uh, attribute for uh, a button so that uh, on mouse over and on mouse on mouse out. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you as well. So I think it's time to actually go back to the VWD. So as you can see here now, I've written, uh, what I've done is a very simple page <laughs> with a button and a label. So whenever I click on those button, so it will put a label. It's gonna set the text on the label to form posted to server. So we know that everything we've written in everything we have written in uh, in this page is inside a form because if you look at here the body if you check all uh, all of your pages after the body tag we have a form tag so the button is really going to send this form which is the old page back to the server because everything all the ASP.NET controls must be contained within this, this form tag so that means every time you click on a button whichever button it posts back the form to the server so uh, so what we want to do is just displace this uh, text this simple text on the label one so what's gonna happen is but what I've done is I've actually also ch um, just like I said if you select this button it's going to be selected here as well so we can see the property so I have written a simple uh, JavaScript which returns so that means it's going to pop out a message and the pop pop-up message is the confirm uh, message box which is going to ask us do you want to post to server and it's going to give us the option to say yes or cancel so we can either cancel the uh, the message box and now execute it or we can just say yes so if you cancel it it's going to cancel out the on click it's going to cancel out this uh, on click event as well for the button so unless I show you you wouldn't understand so as also, I've also set out this this is why I call the expando attributes 
this is on mouse over so when I place the ma my mouse over the button it is going to set the value of the text property to mouse over and if I remove my mouse which is on mouse out it's going to change the text property to mouse out so I'll show you so let's run the website and see how this all these things tie together so as you can see the original text I set for the button if uh, for the button control is click here so you can see it's click here. I don't want to put my mouse over it so but if I put my mouse over it now because I said the on mouse over attribute it's going to say mouse over so if I take the mouse out it's going to say mouse out on mouse over mouse out so as you can see that uh, but this uh, uh, expander attributes are actually being handled by the uh, web browser you know the JavaScript uh, engine the JavaScript processor inside the browser is the one that's handling it as you can see now that uh, this is working so if I click on this button now the one that I set the JavaScript for the on client click is asking me if I want to post back to server if I should click cancel the click event of the button will not be processed it will be cancelled so if I click on cancel as you can see the text has not changed even though I said the text to change every time I click on the button but because we cancelled it out it's not going to be executed but if I should say OK now it's, it's asking of post to server if I say OK then it's going to say form posted to server so you can use the you can use a little JavaScript or VB script any client side script you can use it inside the uh, button control property the on client click so which other properties do we also have to talk about let's see it looks like uh, we have covered all the properties that I talk about in the presentation so um, I hope you've uh, you've learned something new about how to use the button in this video and we're going to be talking more about uh, other type of button in the next video thank you